Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. Okay. Keep an eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Oh no... <sighs> Smart. Look at all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. I'm wondering if he's just tired. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Oh, man. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. All right, let's search around. I can imagine Kenny just being like, fuck it already. You what know? do you call this thing? Art? Might be the way out. Oh, well, at least it's not. I guess they have to jump. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Man, they have to do a lot of acrobatics. You know, in a real-world situation, how many people would die simply because they're not in good enough shape to do all of this crap? Oh my goodness. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? No, not yet. That's an interesting question, though. Do they get smarter over time? It's good to be moving. That slow walk. You're doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Cat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. Oh, wow. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, yeah. right. He listens. You don't have to call him. Careful, Cross, here. Is this thing gonna break? Oh man, that's slow. River walk. Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers. Fuck that shit. Hmm. I don't see any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> oh, no. Well, do we really need it? Oh, we fuck. know where she is. <sighs> well, I'm so sorry. Leave it. We don't need it. You got a bead on this guy. Yeah, I agree. And when we don't, 
And when we don't know where to begin to look, any clue, even the smallest one, is invaluable. We need that thing. Fuck, I'm sorry. Let's think this through. I just did. What the hell? Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. You Fuck. can't reach. We can't reach. As tall as you are. Find something fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. That was dumb. Okay. Man, that Grab was dumb. Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Okay, I did not screw up. Uh oh. Shit, they're in there. We can't reach you, remember? Fuck! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> oh, man, she's not gonna die down there, is she? my fucking mouth. God, what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! Can't just said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! Uh, 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 got you, hon! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? You've only got one shot, fool. How are you gonna get back up? Come on. Get Kenny. Kenny, where, where did he go? Where are you? Oh no 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 no! Oh no no! Oh Kenny! Get the fuck off me! Oh God! He's only got one bullet, and that was it. No! Go! He's not gonna be okay. You should have took that one bullet and blew your brains out so you don't turn. Oh God! Where? Where'd he go? Oh. He's dead. Maybe he's not. He went down there for you. I know he did. That was pointless, Krista. Pointless. Unnecessary. That's your fault. Oh, my God. And I was just saying, I could imagine how Kenny's just tired at this point. Just tired. Just wanting to end. I mean, I could see in his mind he's gonna be with uh, Cat and Duck. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kitty was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. They get to now a moratorium, at least. I understand. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. Clear on what? What is it? Now with Kenny, gone. Means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Okay, and? You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. You know what I'm talking about. It's nothing. Kenny didn't die for her. It's nothing. Let's just keep moving. Wow, she still doesn't talk about the pregnancy. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Yet and still, she gets all upset when Stone things aren't burst. disclosed to her. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. So he knows. When did that come out? Did I miss something? You two should go across first. 
You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. Did I miss something? See, something happened in those choices where the truth came out, but it didn't come out in my playthrough. Not what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Good enough. I hope she stops asking him that every two minutes. It's starting to get on my nerves. Krista, you next. Watch the sucker break when it's to Lee's turn. Lee will be on there and it's gonna break and then I'm gonna have to do some quick time event to get him off the fucking thing. Shit! Or not, it's gonna Shit. happen while she's on there. Okay, she made it. Now what? What are you gonna do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. No, there's not. But all that screaming isn't going to get their attention? Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything. It's fucked, Lee. Well, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means Good I'm question. already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you nuts? It's the only way. Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. Yeah, because there's no point in going there. The boat is gone. So the train is the only real transportation out of that place. And the horde of walkers are here, not by the train, so they should be able to get there safely. That's my logic. We'll see if it works out. <laughs> Wait a minute. How can they meet by the train when Vernon took the train? Didn't Vernon take... No, Vernon took the boat. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, dear. Let's see if I can get through this. With... Oh, no. Oh, wow. Ouch. That's one sharp blade. That's one thing they've lucked out for. They've gotten every sharp blade necessary. You notice that? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Ouch. That looks as dark, but it looks like the station wagon. Nah, that can't be the station wagon. Okay, think back. What the fuck? When we found the station wagon, I remember I said take the food because the, the doors were open and shit, and I just assumed that they abandoned it. Well, not abandoned it, that, you know, they got, you know, taken away from it, um, you know, by with walkers. But, yeah, we didn't drive the car because I don't think there, we had the keys because everything was wide open. Oh, man, I'm I'm fucked if that's... It can't be the station wagon. But if it's not Vernon, then who has Clementine? And how would he get... Clementine left the walkie-talkie in the station wagon? Oh, fuck, it is the station wagon. That's how it got missing. But then wait a minute. The bitch had one, too. So then how did he get it? I'm very confused right now. Oh, because we got it back. I got us adjoining rooms. 
That's how. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. We got it back from the crazy chick. Then Put Clementine. Down. Let me out! <gasps> oh, good, she's still there. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Yeah, we got it back from the crazy lady. Then Clementine, being upset, set it down in the car. This and we left the car. Okay. You travel. Oh, that's brilliant. I don't believe you. No, because I'm going to take that, that machete thing. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. I'm taking the butcher knife thing and I'm cutting your ass up if I can. I'm not giving that shit up. Do you know who I am? I'm going to lie and say no, no, but yeah, bitch. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking... Who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest. Oh, full God. Of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? We thought you abandoned it, or... Whatever it is, whatever happened, you have to hear that I'm sorry. That doesn't mean anything to me. I wish it did. I'm not a bad man. I don't believe in vengeance, but I've got nothing left. <sighs> oh, man. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes. Yes, of course. Who? We'll go with My his wife. wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a, In lot, a lot of ways. ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on the way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. Oh. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? Hmm. I, I don't want to hear this. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. What happened to him? We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. Oh, I'm sorry. Man. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them. 
a day later, in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. That's an unfortunate situation. No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. Okay, we didn't know that they were cannibals. I was trying to find some place safe for her. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. Okay, I couldn't save them both. How the fuck does he know that? Them, to save them both. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. Yeah, okay. You got me there. But how did you know about... I fucked up. Yes, you did. How could you know all this? Exactly. Because you didn't have that walkie-talkie that long. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. It doesn't have to be this way. You can't take care of anyone. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in. Our plan changed. Our plan? Please listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. We? I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's what are you trying to say? Long. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Excuse me, but you lost your son. Bitch. You crazy, no, but I'm not gonna say that. Up. It makes sense. It's no, not it doesn't. Happening. It ain't happening. You lost your son. I didn't lose Clementine. Okay, Let's technically go. I did, because you stole her. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away. And we're starting a new family. We? Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Oh. You... My. God. I'm he glad. has her head. In the bag. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I you miss you so much, Tess. Up. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Oops. Oh, shit. Fuck, I was still pressing the button. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, this is a long one. Holy hell. I'm ready to press E anytime now. Oh my god. Did I screw up? Oh, he's dying. No E. Okay. Oh man. Whew. Okay, I'm still stuck on how he knew about that guy having to pick between Carly. He would have come back. Yes, he would have, honey. Because we didn't even talk about that again in my playthrough. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. That must be the result of one of the other choices or something. <clears throat> Your arm's gone. 
Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Oh, wait, yes, you. we did. No, not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. She's so cute. Oh, Carly and him had that I'm talk on the ledge. See that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. The only thing is that the crazy bitch had the radio then, not him. So I don't understand. Yep, that's her head. Jesus. Fucking hell. Okay, I'm gonna pause because this one's long. No, I know. Be right back. <laughs> 